What's going on guys? We are going to be busting another late one tonight because it is Lodo week and we don't have time for anything. We're not going to have a whole lot of time to do our own truck either. So I am hammering Nathan's truck right now and I did a little 50-50 spot just like a test spot so I'd know what kind of what grit sandpaper I need to go to and what all like the combination that's going to work. So here is and obviously you're not gonna be able to tell unless I got the right lighting and stuff but this is about the only spot on the truck that isn't being sanded right now I'll show you the hood and you'll be able to tell there's kind of a film so I'll give you there's another spot that I just sanded so the hoods like a film and that's obviously not sanded yet so that's what it will look like but we are hammering it down. I'm using 1500 grit and then after that going over it with 3000 so I can get all the 1500 grit scratches out to make my life with buffing a lot easier. As you can tell we got it all taped off. It's got brand new trim so we made sure to tape that off because we don't want any scratches or from the sandpaper getting on it and taped off all the black moldings and whatnot won't tape these off because I don't get much compound on them and it washes off easier than this stuff. And of course we taped off the bed liner and bed caps because the compound does stick to that really bad. Also another thing for Nate that we did that he asked for was we took the Z71 stickers off. Just got all around cleaner look in my opinion and in his. That's what he wanted to do. Always do whatever customer asks. But figured I'd show you a little clip. It's about nine o'clock right now, but we will be up every bit of seven more hours at least. I'll probably be up till 5 a.m. on this one again. I'm gonna get it completely sanded and ready to roll so that tomorrow I can do a detail and start on this again and get it all done. Nathan and Guthrie are both out of town. They work together and they are out of town working so the truck doesn't have to be anywhere so I'm gonna take my time and use all the time I get just to make everything perfect so it's a good little part but that's all I really got for you guys right now it's a pretty boring part I mean we're just sanding and you don't get to really see the results and I'm excited to see the results because it's just gonna look killer it's gonna look like a whole new truck this truck looked like it had been ran through barbed wire or a brush pile, and it was bad. It wasn't through the paint. I mean, in some parts it is, but in most parts it's not. So I'm trying to save it, and I think we're going to do it because the test spot I did looks like it's got fresh paint. I was very impressed. I don't usually say that about my stuff very much. I don't like to brag about anything. I'm not that kind of guy. If it looks decent, I'm not going to say a whole lot, but whenever I leave and get done detailing something and I got a smile on my face just because how big the smile is on the customer's face, that's what I look for. So we got it all prepped and we're going to be having a few long nights of buffing because I think Jed's truck needs done too. So I've got quite a few things to get done before Lodo and I haven't even got my truck running. But here is the underside. We did get it all painted. The lighting obviously isn't very good, it's getting dark. But you can tell that that looks very nice. We're gonna keep hacking away. We'll keep you updated. We'll give you a few tips and tricks. Here it is. What's going on guys? Just to wrap this one up. It is Wednesday about four or five o'clock and talk about the challenge but man does it look good really got it completely wet sanded really good and buffed for a long time I don't even want to know how long it took me multiple days you can it's overcast so it's hard to tell like the paint and all but it is about as good as it could get for the condition it was I believe but this is Nate's truck it is like an 06 or something on 22 by 14 
ION 182s, which if you know wheels and you know your wheels, you know that these are a very rare wheel. They don't make these anymore and they will be worth a lot of money one day. But they do have some minor pitting, as you can tell. But for re-chrome, it's like 400 bucks a wheel, so not really worth it right now. But talk about a rare wheel. On some 355s, got spacers. I mean, it's, for this year's Chevy, I mean, it is huge. It's got, I believe, a seven inch Fabtech lift, I'm pretty sure. But he does have tow, the tow mirrors, the caps, and all that. Got it all cleaned up under here pretty good. But pretty sharp truck, and it's just really set it up right here. Figure I'll give you a quick walk around. Looks pretty sharp. Pretty proud of it. Took me a long time. But it's just another detail so we can get the boys ready for the show because we should be the cleanest group there for sure. Just because we spend all the time on them, working on them. So Chase's and Nathan is done. Next, I think I'm gonna have to wet sand a little spot on Dylan's truck and do Jed's truck, which is a four-gen half ton that just got lifted six inches. I think it's rough country on 35s and hostile sprockets. I think they're 12 wides. I haven't got to see it in person yet. And I'm really looking forward to it. So I think all we'll be doing to that is it's it's already clean. I think we'll just be doing a wax job and maybe some sealant. But we'll see and we'll keep you updated. We're getting ready to put this up and load up the stocks and then get back to the house because parts should be in. We got to fix the first gen get it running since I was dropped that banjo bolt so it should be a long night but we're gonna get it done so hang in there we'll get some good content some good videos this was a nice truck that I could show you guys just so you can see what I do so there it is again and we're gonna cut it off there